Now the question is, is flow like this enough to get a bell siphon to activate with a one inch pipe? Let's see. I would say yes. See the water going down. We have activated the siphon on that water flow. I'll show you how I did it now. All right, now I need to do a new bell siphon. What we're going to do is we're going to upgrade the one I have. The one I have uses a three quarter inch pipe. This is set up for a one inch pipe. I need to increase the flow and the only way to do that is to increase the amount, you know, the diameter of the pipe. So we're going to start. If you take a look, what we got, we have an elbow here. You can't slide a pipe through this because it's got those stops. So what we have to do is we have to grind those out so we can run the pipe all the way through it just so happens we've got the perfect tool for it a little dremel tool okay all we're going to do is grind off these tabs all right that's the goal right there see what will happen Actually, it goes like this. The wire will come in here from the uh, beds. Water flows up, then goes down into this pipe and comes out here. And there's our first step on the new bell side. The goal here is the height. We need to figure out how tall this pipe has to be. The height of this pipe will determine how much water is in these grow beds. So, I know where the water needs to be. So I set it up to be at that height. All right, now we know this is the height we want. Problem is, you can't put the tangent inside the joint. It, normally you would just put glue on the end and you put the pieces together. So what we have to do is, you know where we want this to be. Now, now we get this in place, all we have to do now is we spin it as we bring it down. And there, we just bring it in, twist it to get a good thick joint. Now we just let it sit. Now, now it has to dry. It's our first step. Alright, let me explain how this is going to work. What we have is... Alright, I'll show you this real quick. Let me take this thing apart. Okay. We have multiple parts water from the grow beds will come in here so we need to put this one inch pipe here now because we're creating a bell siphon this part you saw me make this i'll just put that in connect this here so what will happen is water will have to go out this pipe right, water will have to come up here in order to go out here so this is what we do Water comes in here, fills this. It reaches the top, starts to flow down here. As soon as it creates a vacuum, boom, we have a siphon. All right, I'll show you how we have it set up. But basically, that's it. Now,
Now this Teflon tape is normally used on threaded pieces, but you don't, it does do the same trick without having to, um, you don't have to put it on threads. It will work in a friction fit situation. It's not ideal, but normally it does work. It works well. All right, now we're just going to let it sit. Okay, the goal is to keep this pipe at center. All right, keep the pipe in the center. And remember, the only way water can come out of this, it has to come in here, go up this pipe, and go out this way. It's the only way it works. And once you put a cap on this, you create a siphon that works very easily. I'll show you the whole system when we're done. All right, let me show you how this is set up. We see we have the two grow beds. There's down there is the tap to the first one. There's the second one. They're all connected to this pipe right here. All right. So as the water in these two grow beds rises, the water in this pipe, water in this pipe rises as well. When it reaches the height of this pipe, it will start to drain. And then you'll create a siphon, drain both beds simultaneously. So this is how we're going to grow, drain multiple beds at the same height at the same time. All with one siphon. Don't have to screw with the, the, the multiple bell siphons is a nightmare. It's a big pain. Doing this, it gives us a much better setup. So let's, uh, let's get some water moving. We'll see how it goes. I'll show you where we are. Water comes in this pipe. As it fills this bed, it also fills this bed. If you look, you see the water is coming in this pipe. It also fills this. Alright, you see the water level in there starting to climb. So, all three of these have the same height. Eventually, the water will reach the top of this pipe and drain out. When that happens, I'll show you where we are. If you take a look, the water in this is starting to come up. You're starting to see the water level. And take a look in here, you can see the water there as well. But, as I said, no water is coming out here. It won't come out here until it reaches the proper level. But it's very close. And we'll be back in another minute or two and we'll show you when it's ready. Okay, here we are. See the water is right there, just starting, and down the chute it goes. A little more, and a little more, and a little more. Now let me show you down here. What we're going to see is any minute, water's going to be coming through here. That's it. Providing I have it all piped properly. That, there it goes. There we go. Now, what we need to do in order for this siphon to work properly, we need to create a vacuum. The only way we're going to do that is to cover it. Okay, I have built this external bell siphon, but I've added a neat little twist. If you take a look at this, what I've done is I drilled a hole in this and sealed up this piece of uh, flexible hose. This hose goes here. This is the equivalent, this is like a little Venturi valve. The hose actually comes into about here. Now what happens is this, when the water flows through here, it creates a low pressure system at the end of this hose. That low pressure sucks air. That's how the Venturi works. However, what it does when it's here is it sucks the air out of the tip of this, which will allow for the siphon to activate on a very, very low flow. And it deactivates very easily. Let's take a look. Are we there yet? Not there yet but it's close look at this see how low the water level is okay it's pulling water out of the other grow bed as well and that's it 
siphon is stopped and the flood cycle begins again so this is what we have water goes in water fills up these it reaches this point when the water starts flowing down here air is being sucked out of here and it causes that siphon to activate quickly and every single time so guys that is how my bell siphon works um, I've been playing with this for a while and I've been meaning to put this up but now that we got it actually absolutely working exactly the way I want it to we're on a very low flow so it does not flood and drain every 10 minutes I'm able to get a lot of uh, you know everything works exactly the way it's supposed to just took me some time to get this to do what I wanted it to so all this is this hose is locked at the very tip it sucks air out of this pocket when the water flow reaches the tip and activates the siphon very quickly so you want to have a bell siphon that activates quickly on low flow there you go guys you got to make sure that your water is moving fast enough to create that low pressure system to suck the air out of the hose though. All right?